In this video, we're gonna talk about macros, which are your carbs, your fats, your proteins, and your fiber. Now, if you haven't seen my graphic yet, I'm gonna put it on the screen now. You can see the different stages of the journey, and I really want you to have nailed the earlier stages before you ever consider looking at your protein, your carbs, or your fats. You need to have nailed the calorie balance, you need to have nailed being able to track properly, you need to have nailed it week in, week out for a little while before you even consider tracking any other macros. What I see over and over again is people rushing and trying to get more done and they overlook the fact that the stuff they're already doing, the calorie tracking and being in a calorie deficit is what causes fat loss. The stuff we're gonna go into now, your macros, is just gonna help a little tiny bit. So don't worry, you're already doing it. There's no need to rush. Just make sure you're getting the earlier parts nailed before we move on. So the first one we need to think about is protein. You'll hear people talking about your carbs and your fats and your fiber levels, but for now it doesn't matter. I just want you to nail protein and calories. And I just want you to ignore pretty much everything else in the app. Just focus on these two. Don't worry, nothing bad's gonna happen. So most of us know that protein is responsible for muscle gain, performance, and strength. This is because of the nitrogen within the protein and it helps us have a higher or a proper nitrogen balance, which helps us gain muscle. So when we exercise, we break the muscle tissue down a little bit and the protein then goes in and fixes it. And in essence, we build more muscle or we gain more muscle by breaking it down first. This sounds a little bit complicated, but don't worry. All you need to know is that you need protein to become stronger and have bigger muscles, which is gonna help you look better and help you be stronger and healthier in the future. What people do overlook when it comes to protein is your immune function, your bone health and your general health. Protein is responsible for this as well. Another cool thing when it comes to fat loss, especially with the stuff we've spoke about in previous videos, is it helps with your hunger levels. There's many studies showing us this, so having the right protein level is gonna help you feel less hungry. So next we're gonna talk about how much. So you're gonna see on the screen now a graphic, and within this graphic you're gonna be able to see various numbers for the amount of protein you're gonna be eating for your body weight. Now for some of you, if you did this calculation straight off for your body weight, you're gonna end up having a huge amount of protein per day. So what I want you to do for all of you is just think of the body weight that you want to be. So for example, if you're 125 kilogram now and you wanna do some weight loss and get down to 100 kilogram, do the calculations from the weight that you want to be. So for myself, I'm interested in muscle mass and performance. So I aim for the middle, which is 2.2 pounds and I take my body weight and I times it by that. That then gives me 184 grams per day and I just simply aim between 180 and 200 grams and I try to split that up into multiple meals. For now, you don't need to worry about that. We're gonna go into detail in later videos about meal timing. For fat loss, it doesn't matter how often you eat. So if you have any problems with this, shoot me a message. And in other videos, I'm gonna talk about carbs, fats and fiber and what to do with them. But for now, you're just looking on MyFitnessPal or whatever tracking app you're using, and you're looking at your calories, and then you're looking at your protein level per day. And that's it. Everything else, you can just relax and continue. Good luck, guys.